This is it. We got to this project just in time. This is, uh, I think, a big part of our history. We know that these films are on the brink of decomposing to the point where they'll become useless. We don't have any experimental data for modern weapons in the atmosphere. The only data that we have are the old tests, and so it gets a little bit more complicated. My name is Greg Spriggs. I'm a nuclear weapon physicist. I work at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, and I'm in charge of a special project to scan and reanalyze all of the old atmospheric test films so that we can obtain better data for future physicists. My name is Jim Moy. I worked in the motion picture industry for 40 years plus, uh, and I'm here working at Lawrence Livermore scanning the uh, above ground atmosphere test films. When these films were obtained back in the 50s, uh, EG&G was the company that was responsible for recording the films themselves and then analyzing the films and using the technology they had back in the 50s, it wasn't that accurate. We just decided to try to reanalyze the films and, and come up with better data and reduce the uncertainty of the data for our stockpile stewardship and for understanding nuclear weapon effects and getting a better answer. I'm very surprised by the condition of the film, mostly. Um, it's in pretty good condition considering it wasn't stored in the best conditions. It took several years of locating the films and when we found out that most of the data that had been published was wrong, then we decided we needed to rescan and reanalyze all the films. In the process in prepping and scanning the film from the point of opening a can that maybe hasn't been opened for decades is identifying what type of film it is, the general condition. Then we have to go through and preview the roll, thread the scanner obviously, and decide the exposure so that we can scan it appropriately. 